Hey everybody, it's Jen again with a process layout for the August Hip Kit Club. The August Hip Kit, or not Hip Kit, Gossamer Blue. Um, the August Gossamer Blue Kit. That was my last Gossamer Blue Kit that I got and I really struggled with it. In fact, I think I only made two layouts with it before I put it away. So those were a couple of scraps that actually fit perfect under uh, my matted photo. And um, there's a big blue post-it on the top photo because that's a picture of my mom. Uh, and she does not do the internet. She does not want her face plastered on the internet. So I have, I just cover her up in any pictures that you can tell who she is um, out of respect for her. So I'm, I was going through those cut up parts that came in the kit. They were... I, I liked the sayings on them. I disliked the theming. It was, I don't know, I, I find that Adrian Lumen Webster's pages, this her stuff is so pretty to look at, but I don't use it. It's too hard for me to use. Um, I think that this kit was filled with it. So I that's why I put the kit away really quickly, two or three layouts and I was done. Um, so, and the same thing with the vellum, this was also Webster's Pages, and I, the vellum is really, really pretty, um, but mm, the only piece that I could see myself using, no, I, I use two pieces, this this one that you see here, which is like a bokeh, and then I'll use another one on another layout. But it's all caught up and put in my stash already, it's crazy. Um, so I did find a cutout to you, or a cut apart. Uh, to use that it's going to go in the bottom right hand corner of the photo and then I'm going to I was going through those Teresa Collins buttons uh, collection and I, I they're okay I use those as embellishments every once in a while um, and I pulled out everything that was teal and then uh, these Heidi Swap stickers I ended up with three sets of them and I hate them they're clear which is nice but they're so clear, you can't even tell where you're putting them. It's ridiculous. Uh, I don't know how I ended up with, well, I, I ended up with three sets from three different kits. That's how I ended up with them. Uh, but I, I don't like them. I've used, almost used up a full sheet of them. And I'm going to have to rack the others. I think I've said that in the past before. I don't like them. So here I am putting down my layers. And I do that a lot. I'll cut, I'll use scraps and just cut them in half or so I don't, there's not a full piece of paper down the entire sheet to save on paper. And oh, God knows I need to save on paper. I mean, I've got more paper just like any of the rest of us. More paper than I know what to do with. Um, so I'm <laughs> sitting here just gluing everything down, getting this all where I want it. And then, of course, in about, I don't know, 10 seconds, my ATG is going to run out. And I'm going to have to replace the roll. Gotta love it. That's always the way. So I'm actually measuring it here, uh, so I know ex not measuring it, but put it, putting a straight edge on it, so I know where I'm putting it down, so that it, it actually does look like it's one continuous paper um, instead of two. Uh, so here's my ATG gun that runs out. Of course, uh, I can't run out on a on a layout I don't videotape. It's just the way it goes. Uh, but I did a lot of up and down on this video. I had to. I ended up cutting out this video is only just over five minutes before I started cutting things out it was like 13 I must have gotten up and wandered away I don't know how many times it must have been I don't know what was going on ADHD day or something like that but anyway I cut it down to about five minutes of actual scrapping um, so that little cut apart it says enjoy every moment and it does end up in the right upper hand upper corner there um, and I really like the colors and I like the style of it but I find them hard to use I don't know why I've always struggled with Adrienne Lumen stuff and I, f I feel bad saying that because her lines are beautiful like the strawberry fields those pieces of paper I just want to frame them but I have so much trouble actually using them. Uh, so my goal with these kits is to try to use them until they're completely used up, uh, till they're killed. And I've been doing a good job since I started with it, but this, when, once I saw the preview of the 
the August Gossamer Blue kit. I said, and after seeing the July one, I was like, I need to go somewhere different than Gossamer Blue. It just wasn't my fitting what my needs and my style. Um, so I pulled a piece of flare out uh, from, that was a two-piece piece of flare, flare that I was hoarding. Uh, it's of the globe of the world, and these pictures were taken in Hawaii. Um, so I thought it was fitting, and they were, they're beautiful pictures once you move that darn post-it note, and I feel bad that it's, it's covered up, and you really can't even see that top photo, but it's essentially a closer up photo of the bottom photo, just with my mom in it. I pulled some uh, washi tape from my stash, and I don't use washi tape frequently. It's, uh, I find, again, find it hard to use, and I know why, and this is, and I made it work on this layout. I don't like the jagged ends when you rip it. I know a lot of people love the jagged ends of the ripping. It's too cluttered. It's too, I don't know. I'm a science, math and science kind of girl. I, I struggle with the free flowing sometimes. So I think that's what I struggle with. So I cut the edges straight with my scissors and I really liked where, how I did it and what it looks like. It made almost like a, a little layer below my where I'm doing my three little embellishment clusters. So I'm working on um, getting everything positioned here and I do put a couple of silver enamel dots, the silver glittered ones. Oh, I love them. I love the silver glitter. Uh, unlike gold, which has, has taken me a long time to, to grow to like or even tolerate um, the silver. I love silver. I love silver anything. So um, those silver Heidi Swap letters came in the kit and I said, oh, those silver enamel, enamel dots are perfect. So my title for this page is going to be Coalina Beach Club. That is where we stayed and that is just their photos of um, looking down at the water from actually the valet parking area. You could valet park your car for like $20 or 25 bucks for the whole week. So we did that. It was so much easier because we had a Mustang. We didn't ask for a Mustang. We just got a Mustang. So it was hard to park in tiny spots because the front end is huge. So I'm going to pull out my mini market stickers and put Beach Club down below the Colina, and that will be my layout. I apologize for the sun, guys, and also for the darkness of this video. If I open my window, the in, open my shades, the entire layout is bleached out from the sun at this time of day. So you just have to deal with a little bit of strip towards the end. Thanks for watching. That is it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.